The pride of every parent is to give birth to a healthy baby after nine months of a difficult journey. It's always all smiles and happiness when the child comes. It's an amazing feeling that can't be described by words. However, such moments of joy and happiness are cut short when a parent realizes that their child has unusual features. To the mother and father, their child might not have an opportunity to enjoy their childhood like other children. This is what happened to Dr. Dennis Omalwa, aged 47, a university lecturer who hails from Bungoma County, the son of a primary school teacher who had a dream of being a priest. This was never to happen because of his biological features. So who is Dennis uh, Omalwa and thank you for joining us. <laughs> Yeah, brother, that's a very interesting one. Eh? A child who could not understand who he was until he was at the age of nine. A child whose parents could not allow him to go out and play with others. He was born an intersex. A child born with unclear biological sex characteristics that include ambiguous male or female genitals. You go to a hospital as a parent and then the first thing, especially mothers, will ask is, is it a boy, is it a girl? And then a doctor looks at you with a lot of questions or a midwife. They cannot tell from the presentation. His parents could not know if he was a girl or a boy. This made his brother to transfer him from his rural home to Nairobi to start a journey of corrective surgeries. At age 47, he has undergone a total of 39 surgeries and still counting. I was the only one who was never allowed to go out naked playing because one, my family was not so, especially my father and my, my, my mother, were not so ready to let it out. But if I don't use testosterone, then I start growing hips. I should sh I'll show you my photos when I was a year. I was a very beautiful person. You cannot believe I'm the same. But because of the same injections, as I have weird, probably the bald, though my father and my grandfather had bald. Yeah, so that's it about it. To Denis Swamalwa, such surgeries must be considered carefully by the parents to avoid hurting the child's future. It's debatable whether they should go for surgery, but in my experience, because at the age of nine, they thought probably it was too late because the testicles were already palatine, because they were, you know, they were undescended. The ovary was not mature enough, and it was growing into some tum I mean, a kind of tumors. So surgery is only needed where it's very necessary. Intersex Parents Association Chair Peter Maingi is cautioning parents against opting to go for corrective surgeries unless it's a special case because such might end up interfering with their sex organs. I would not advise somebody to go for an intervention surgery unless there is a healthy issue because the intersex only have different variants. Dr. Dennis, a PhD holder, admits that he realized his dreams because he had a supportive family. He is the first intersex person to be appointed a commissioner at the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, KNCHR. He is asking you not to hide that intersex child. For parents, all you need to do and caregivers, just love these children. Give them a chance. Don't hide them behind the doors because they are the products of God. All we need is just bring them out. Let's help them. For the public, that intersex child will be your child, will be your brothers, will be your sisters, and support them. 1,542 intersex persons were recorded in Kenya during the 2019 population census. However, Kenya National Commission on Human Rights says it is evident that the number of intersex children and adults is higher, but because of stigma, they have not come out freely. I'm Felix Asoha.